Hi, and welcome to the CLL and H Model Railroad. Today we have a basket case uh, brass 442. It's a Toshido, I think is how you pronounce it. And I got this for $40. It had been played with and beat up and tore up over the last probably 40 years. It's got to be at least that old. And uh, I got it mainly just for the purpose of seeing if I can restore this thing and see if I can find parts. And, and so what I've done is I've remotored it. I've completely restored the finish on it. You know, bead blasted the, the brass on it and then primed it and painted it. Um, so as we go here I will explain some of the detail on the painting process. I went back to the brass color um, instead of painting it black. All right, as you see here, um, I've remotored the chassis and painted it. Um, like I said again, it was the brass color. And so the motor, I used a flywheel uh, motor and I took the worm gear out of the original motor, which was an old open frame motor. And uh, I cut the shaft off of the motor and then slipped it inside the um, flywheel. So that's that's what that particular setup looks like and it, and it runs really well. This is the gentleman I bought the motor from. It's uh, Chino Back Shop and there's the person's name, Anthony, he's a really nice guy. Uh, has a lot of different motor combinations and setups for various locomotives so if you've got something you might uh, be wanting to restore or put a new motor in give him a shout out um, he's also on eBay and so from there on the tender um, I went ahead and drilled holes in the tender after I painted it um, to for the speaker and then I also did pilot holes here next to where the trucks are going to be mounted for the wires because I'm using Bathroom Genesis trucks uh, they're the 70 ton trucks so they've got the 33 inch wheels and um, I got this on eBay I think for 25 bucks so they've got all the wiring all the stuff that's needed to create the pickup on this because we are going DCC with a Soundtrax Steam 2 decoder, the TSU um, 2200 I think is what it is and so I'll be mounting all that in the tender and I'll need pickups I don't want to try to take it off of the locomotive itself and then I'm going to also use a um, keep alive from soundtracks and uh, the locomotive should run really well. A couple things I did to the locomotive before I painted it 
um, put a little more detail in it, put a different smoke box in it or smokestack um, because I want to use this one as a, a wood burner um, instead of a coal burner. So I've got the wood burning smokestack in it. I went ahead and soldered a new back in it, which it will uh, hide the motor. It looks a lot nicer with something that's more detail in it. And then I painted it, and I think it came out really nice. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and start the assembly process. There's a few things I've got to do uh, with the tender to get it ready, and uh, I'll, I'll get back with you on that and show you what the next step is. Okay, we're back, and we've done a few things here. So I put the trailing truck on, got it bolted on. I changed the wheels that were on it, uh, went with all metal wheels, um, just upgraded a little bit. The other ones were a little bit worn out. I went ahead and did a little bit of uh, weathering on the tender box. And like I said earlier, I'm going to make this a wood burning locomotive. So I went ahead and put the wood in there. If you're ever out in the desert and you come across sage, it works perfect for trees, dead trees, um, stuff like this on the tender. I just cut it up in little pieces. Um, as you'll see here that I've done on some of my mountain ranges here, I've used these trees, the dead ones, um, from the sage. So I've got them in numerous places. So it's just a little uh, option for you. And so I also then did some work on the lower portion of the tender. I got the trucks mounted and uh, all screwed in and the wires coming up to give power to the the tsunami that I'm going to be putting in the soundtracks decoder. So um, next up I think what we'll do is probably get the body uh, the locomotive itself mounted on the motor get some wires coming off the back of the of the motor itself um, and, and show you the plug that I'm going to use. It's just a six-way micro plug and that'll give me uh, an ability to take the tender off of the locomotive itself if I need to do any service or any work on it. So with that I will be back with you in just a short amount of time. Uh, like I mentioned earlier I was going to make this a wood-burning locomotive and so what I used is uh, sage, like out in the desert, um, that old sagebrush. It uh, just, you know, cut it in small little pieces and I glued it in there with, uh, you know, white glue. Um, and so I got my So I got my uh, wood in the tender, and I wanted to go over a few things here. I did the, uh, the wiring on it and got all that done. Um, so to start first is I got my front truck on, um, and I went ahead and put a new spring in it. So that's all operational, works really well, I think. Um, we'll see when we do our test. And some of the items that I've got for this locomotive. Went on to eBay and I picked up a six wire. They come in fours and twos and threes. You can get them in any size you want, uh, wire wise. Um, this is a micro. Uh, I think I paid maybe $10 for 20 of them um, in 20 sets. So there's a male and a female. And that's what I use on my locomotives when I've got a tender. You want to be able to get that tender off of the locomotive if you need to work on it. It's really cumbersome if you've got it hardwired. So I put a plug in it um, and then I'm able to work on them. So 
What I've done here is I put an, an LED in the, the light housing here. It's a mini LED and I wired it as you can see here through the locomotive onto the female side of the micro plug. Then I went ahead, since I have six wires, I went ahead and I put a LED and SMD, very small LED, you can probably not even see it there in the camera. And I just super glued it up inside there and I used that on the other two wires, the blue and yellow. And then on the motor itself, I used the green and white and I just soldered them on. This will protrude out the back of the locomotive um, and then when we wire up the tender we will have the uh, other end of the, of the plug on the tender. So as you see here, I've got the pickups in and they're wired through the floor of the tender so that's all ready to go um, something that's very important too when you're putting lights in your locomotive is your uh, resistor I use a thousand ohm resistor it deadens the light or dims the light enough that it's still noticeable but it isn't as hard on the LEDs as using a 550 or 750 ohm resistor. I got all of these resistors for about three bucks. I think there's 50 of them on eBay. So as you can tell, a lot of my stuff comes off of eBay, my electronics and so forth, um, other than the decoders. Uh, I get a pretty good deal and there's a large selection. So just your option, you might want to check it out. All right, we're back and uh, I've got everything wired up with the female plug as well as the male plug is protruding out the back of the locomotive and that's the top of the tender of course. So what we'll do now is we will program it. Uh, JMRI is the system that I use off of the computer and then we'll see where we're at with the uh, the first run so um, we should be back here in just a few minutes this won't take too long all right we've got her all put back together uh, tenders assembled and so we'll try it out for our first operation. The, the tender actually did uh, start up. You can hear the sound of the locomotive. So uh, we'll put it in forward, turn on our headlight. There we go, good. Let's go ahead and turn on our cab light. That should be on. There we go. All right, let's start her up. That's three on the power cab. So it's got nice slow operation. Try backward. Real nice, smooth. 
from a basket case that was just a box full of parts. Pretty happy the way this one's turned out. So if you got any questions, feel free to email me off of uh, my CLL and H Model Railroad here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll look forward to doing some more. I've got a number of other brass locomotives I want to put some decoders in and upgrade. So, um, again, don't forget to subscribe, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot again for watching.